today we will do analysis of world university rankings 2021 data so let us see about world university rankings 2021 so this data is uh, has been published recently you can go to this website okay so these are the names of universities from various countries if you see how many universities are there so there are around uh, 2000 universities are there so if you want to do analysis of this uh, universities country wise so i'll show you that what is the trivial approach so you may select data so right now i've selected only few records but we can select all 2000 records then we may go to excel and uh, paste that data right and then we can do analysis uh, whatever we want this is a trivial approach but there is a better approach for this using google sheet so let me create one sheet let us give it name world university rankings 2021 okay now we'll see that how we can pull that data right so first i give it name this sheet uh, as data and first we are going to pull the data from this website so we copy this url and now this sheet has one function called import html so first we put the url then we are going to query that url for table because our data you can see that here it is in form of table and you now this table is very first table on this web page so i'm writing this url then my query is for table and the table number is 1 so i just need to write this function and let us see that what happens it will take some time in fetching the data okay so now you can see all 2000 universities are available in our google sheet and let us format this for good look let's give it background color as blue and text color as white right so now this is our data now what next thing we are going to do is we create a sheet where we write say analysis right and there we write say country and that particular country how many universities are there right so let us um background and foreground okay now here we need to write formula which will bring the all the countries which are there in the data right but the thing is we want the names of the countries uniquely so name should not get repeated let us write formula for that so there is a formula called unique right and we'll pull the data from our data tab so write name of the data tab and then in that data 
the country data is you can see that where it's present it is starting from uh, c2 right? so let us write that c2 the last record right so we write c right and just hit the enter key right so we can see names of all the countries right so which are around 94 countries are there and now for in each country how many universities are there in the world's ranking to get number of universities in each country we can use formula count if it is asking about range so we take same range data c2 to c and we have to count the countries matching with b2 right so we can see it's 357 now let us paste it for all the countries You can see we are able to get number of universities for each country now next thing we can do is we create a gap called universities by country in which depending upon the name of the country we are selecting it should fetch the data so let us write here select university and initially i write suppose name of country as usa and we also want to count number of universities so i write here number of universities right and here i'm going to write formula which will count number of universities depending upon the data we are populating here now here we want to select all the universities from this data which are matching with particular country name which we have at present in c1 so let us write here that formula so we can do this selection of records based on query so there is function called query so first we select the data so our data is Right, our data is from A1 to last is let us see that what is the last column. Yes, it is up to column number I. So let us write that data from A1 to I. Now next we can write SQL kind of query. Let us write select star where now you can see that with the country is in column C so we can write in the query where C is equal to now the value itself is the string so we need to enclose it in quotes we write from C1 we have to use name of the country so here we use concatenation operator which is ampersand right. so basically uh, we have written name of country USA as string in this query as is for excluding the header so let us run it yes so you can see now we are able to retrieve all the universities from country USA so there are two sorry 357 records 
right? Because data is starting from third row. Now let us count how many universities are there. So we can use count A. Data is starting from E3. C. Yes, it's matching. Right, 357. Now what we want to do is here we want to have a kind of drop down. Right. So we can select name of a country from there. In order to get name of all the countries, let us add one tab. Give it name as countries. Now here we are going to pull all the countries from this data. Right. So we have already done it. And use this formula. Right, so you can see all the names of all the countries are available. Okay, now we can go back to our university by country tab, and here we can apply data validation. So here we select list from range, and here we are going to write. countries it is starting from first cell a1 to a and do not want to allow on data okay okay so now you can see uh, this drop down so when i select it right again we can see name of all the universities let us see it for india so you can type characters as you type the names of the countries will be shown so suppose i select india right so you can see that there are 64 universities available in the ranking world's ranking so you can select and format it around blue and foreground is white right so this is very powerful google sheet is very powerful you can do this kind of analysis very easily even if your data changes right just reflect it in our sheet by if you know url gets changed you just change the url in the data the information will be fetched automatically okay thanks for watching